What's up everyone? How's it going? My name is Black Boy and I am a bassist here on YouTube. It's been a really crazy time this time of year because of my actual job. I do work in the travel industry, so some of year is crazy. Sorry for the slowdown on the content. But today we're going to talk about a piece of music equipment and studio equipment that I just got a couple of months ago and how do I like it. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it. Alright guys, so today we are going to talk about this bad boy right here. This right here is my studio rack. This is, uh, the studio rack is from Soundtown. It's a 12 unit studio rack that uh, I uh, ordered off Amazon and uh, built. And this holds my studio equipment. So, why did I get a studio rack? Do you need a studio rack? What's it used for? And how well and sturdy is this studio rack? Well, let's start off with the first bit. Why did I buy a studio rack? Technically speaking, I've been building a studio rack for the past couple of months now. Um, a much, much bigger one. But I realized I could put that one on the back burner because honestly, I just don't have that much studio equipment to put in it. And uh, so, yeah, I decided let me take my time with that one rather than uh, blowing through it. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of messed up on that one a few times. <laughs> but I decided let me just buy one to get started to put some studio equipment in there. And yeah, also, uh, I went from using a... Uh, well, a, just a, a regular shelf unit that I had that's sitting right over there. I'll put a picture of it up right here. But I went from using this studio rack, uh, this, actually, not studio rack, sorry, this shelf to using this studio rack. So that's why I bought it. Now, what is the purpose of a studio rack? Well, well it's very, very simple. Purpose of a studio rack is to hold your studio equipment in a nice neat place this one is on wheels so it can roll around and it's really really nice now like I said this is a 12 unit studio rack and uh, studio equipment normally come uh, comes in sizes of units now in here I have uh, just a power conditioner my scarlet eight my scarlet 18i 20 and my headphone preamp now, all of these are one U or one unit spaces. This is the smallest you can get a unit. Uh, this is the smallest piece of equipment that unit racks come in is a one unit. They can come in bigger like these, these uh, plates right here, I believe these are two U's or two units. And you can get gear as big as I think four four units or for you is the biggest I've seen I'm not entirely sure if they're if they make them bigger if so pretty sure someone will jot it down in the comments now as I said before as far as rackable rackable uh, studio equipment this is all I have for now is my interface my headphone preamp and a power conditioner so I need as I stated before, I didn't really need this big unit rack that I was building right now. But I am planning on getting some more studio equipment later on. Hopefully uh, in the summertime, next summer, I'll have a bit more studio equipment. But for now, this is all I have and this works for me. So enough about my equipment and the reason why I got this. How does this studio rack stack up? Well, as I said before, I've got this on Amazon for a good price. Uh, I'll have the price and link down to this studio rack in the description down below. 
Once again, this is from a company called Soundtown, and it's their 12U, 12 unit studio rack. And this came in a big, big box, and it was really, really, really well protected and well wrapped. I liked it. L every single piece was wrapped in bubble wrap, and then in between pieces were um what is that styrofoam <laughs> was styrofoam so it was w really well protected this thing went together pretty pretty easily um the directions were very simple and easy to follow all you had to do was start at the base slide one of the sides in and tack it on the screws go to the other side tack on the screws and flip it around and do the same with the top now as i said before this is on wheels but it initially came with these these little rubber feet so that was nice uh if you wanted to have it permanently or i shouldn't say permanently but if you wanted to have it stationary boom you could have it but if you wanted to have it on wheels and freely roll around that you could do that as well the wheels on this are rubber and they are really thick and in my studio I have carpet and it rolls around really great on the carpet. As I said it before, putting it together was very simple. Uh, the only hard part was trying to screw in some of the screws once you got it kind of sorted together because of angles and I was using a power screwdriver and it was hard just as I said before angles. Now one of the things that I like to do when putting studio equipment into a studio rack is not have it standing straight up as it is right now but I like putting it on its side and sliding the studio rack in from the top. And what this does is two things. A, it doesn't make my arms tired for I'm having to hold up the equipment so that I can screw it in. And two, it allows me to adjust where I want all my equipment very easily just by sliding it up, down, or taking one out, sliding it up, and putting it down on beneath a, another piece of equipment. Very simple very easy and it's great then after that once i have it all situated and i decide to i and i finalize on the design or where everything is i screw it all down and i turn it over and i plug in and i plug in i make all my wire connections that way and i'll show you how i did that right here all right, guys, so this right here is the power conditioner. Sitting underneath that is the Focusrite 8920, and underneath that is the headphone preamp. Now, as you can see, I already have all the power cables hooked up and everything. Pretty simple, you know, plug everything into the power conditioner and things like that. This one right here that's in the always on position is to the Focusrite 8920, and the other one's to obviously the headphone preamp. Now, this cord right here, that actually is the USB-C cable from the 8920 to the computer. That's how everything gets into the computer. And I don't have any other devices for a world clock right now. I don't have any optical drives to plug in. And I don't have any MIDI ins or outs that I need to hook up at this point in time. So the first thing we're going to hook up are the speaker cables to my monitors and that's very simple we're just going to plug them into the main out one and two uh, yeah that's the main out section right here and they're just going to plug into the one and two one is on the top two is on the bottom and it goes three four five six seven eight all the way to the left uh, to the left so now those, like I said, those two speaker cables run out to my monitors, my studio monitors. All right, the next thing we're gonna hook up is the headphone preamp. And we're just gonna plug that into a main out three, and that's gonna go into uh, over here on the headphone preamp. I believe it's letter A. 
yeah it's a left which is also the mono input so because i have one speaker cable right now i'm just running it mono which i mean it helps out but yeah so we'll just plug that into the mono and that is how this is all set up right here like i said as of right now this is the only thing that i have so yeah pretty straightforward also while at it i decided might as well also hook up the euro rack ub 2442 fx pro because you know i got everything still turned up so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a speaker cable plug it into the main out at the top right there and we're going to run that into the focus right 18i20 uh input number eight which is right next to the main out one and two so that just slides in just like that and now that allows me to use the 16 inputs on the euro rack into the 18i20 unfortunately it does compress them all down into one solid track but hey that's more inputs for right now after making all the connections you know, stand it straight back up and I turn everything on, make sure it works before sliding it into place. Now, um, this design you see right here or how, or the layout, I should say, how I have everything, like I said, power conditioner, uh, uh, audio interface and my headphone preamps. I designed this for ease of comfort. So what that is, I wanted the most important things or the things that I'm going to mess with a lot towards the top, because as you can see, I'm actually sitting on the floor. So this shows you how short this is. Now, when I'm uh, recording and everything, I'm usually on a this old school drum throne that's busted. This is when I uh, record guitar or bass. Or if I'm recording someone else, I'm in my actual studio chair over there. Now, well, I'll, I'll bring this back here and just show you how tall I am. Yes, I know. I'm in Christmas themed pajamas. Christmas is just right around the corner. But as you can see, this isn't too high up from reaching everything. You know, if I needed to get down here very easily. Studio chair is just a little bit taller than that, so it makes it easy to get it. But another thing is, I like to have everything that I'm gonna just set and leave, like my headphone preamp. Um, I'm not gonna change those all the time, so these is just something I can just set, leave it alone, and don't need to mess with it. That's why they're more towards the bottom, whereas my preamps or my uh, interface, my inputs. These are something that I might have to click the line to instrument setting or uh, the pad setting or adjust the gain on a certain input. Something I'm gonna use more and more is gonna to be towards the top so I don't have to reach down all that much. And that's just for this section or for this unit rack right now because as I stated, I am working on a bigger one but for right now, this is all I need. Now, the, the only other things I have on here, as you can see, is my uh, direct box and my Behringer, uh, what were you, your Euro Rack, uh, UB2442FX Pro Mixer. And uh, yeah, these are just, this is what I use sometimes for uh, mixing drums or if I just need an added grit or an added boost to a guitar or bass or even vocals, having an extra mixer mixing unit before going into the audio interface into my computer is great. It's a very, very simple setup. Now, what do I think about this? Honestly, I've had this for about two months now, and I absolutely love it. First of all, it streamlines having everything in one place compared to when everything was just sitting 
on top of that old school shelving unit over there. Second of all, I mean, it, to me, it looks more professional. And with this wood grain, uh, it, it doesn't it necessarily match my other furniture in my studio, but it matches really, really well. Um, and I like it. Uh, the build quality of this is really, really good, too. I'm not going to say top of the line, but it's up there. The ease of putting it together and how it was transferred or shipped, very, very great as well. All around, I think I would have to give this um, an 8 out of 10. Like I said, that's just because, you know, it's not the best. But, at the set, but for what you pay for, huh, it's good, it's great, it does what it needs to do. So, yeah. I just love this thing. It's really, really good. And as I stated before, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get the more equipment. Like I said, Christmas is right around the corner, so don't want to buy anything just yet because hopefully I can get some things. As of right now, this positioning of where this is isn't the best studio wise, but at the same time, my studio is horribly set up. In the summer, I will be retooling my studio, putting it, uh, putting things differently. Like this right here, this is my computer. And um, right next to that is my computer desk. And as I think you can see right there, that's my monitor. My computer desk is in a corner. And for those of you who know, studio layout and design that's a horrible horrible position is putting it in the corner but in the summer you know uh it's going to be all redesigned i am also making some studio panels so so when those are done they'll be going up in my studio and i'll be able to reorganize and make my studio a better operating fit than what it is but that's for a video of another time Anyways, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, go ahead, hit the thumbs up button. If it wasn't, hit the thumbs down button. I know YouTube took away that so you can't see it, so you can't see the ratio, but I can still see it, and it lets me know what, uh, what you guys like and how I am doing. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, or questions for any of my videos, go ahead, jot those. In the comment section down below i do read all of my comments and i do try to answer them all in a timely manner just right now as i said before i work in the travel industry so it may take me a while to get back to you guys and uh if you guys like my content please feel free to subscribe hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for when i upload new videos I try to upload new videos on the second and fourth of uh, every Tuesday of every month. Just like I said, since Thanksgiving, it's been really, really uh, all hands on deck at my actual job. So, but uh, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things for the new year. 2022 is right around the corner. I hope to get, see you guys all in 2022. Until next time, remember. I'm a black boy, and always, always, always keep practicing. All right, got to edit this video, and then can take my nieces and nephews out Christmas shopping. All right.